Okay, so we are heading out to hold the uh, lobster pots again and uh, the temperature has dropped below zero and so I'm getting the boat out and it's just ice. I don't know if you can see it that well on the camera. You know, the GoPro isn't too uh, good on details, but yeah, it's ice. And this is the boat. <laughs> so I have my techniques. I know that it isn't too, you know, the ice isn't uh, too uh, fat. <laughs> it's just a thin layer. But uh, still, I, it, it, it does uh, make my day a bit more complicated. Tilt the motor a bit. But, uh, but yeah, I have to move the boat. If I had left this boat here for, uh, let's say, uh, a couple of days, one, one day probably, I wouldn't get out. So I need to move my boat to another location. See you out there. Okay, we are starting off with the big pot today. And as always, I've set this pot fairly shallow. And uh, yeah, it's just another beautiful day. Oh, I'm really happy that I had so many nice days to be out fishing this year. It's cold, it's about, well, I don't know, maybe it's about zero at the moment. But during the night it was down to minus three or four, maybe. So yeah, okay, <clears throat> come on. That is quite a few crab. It looks like a really nice one in there. That is a nice one. Big nice crab. Male crab. A bit soft maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
that is soft. There's no point. And this is soft. Ah. A soft female. Another one. And probably a female, a big female with some, uh, hopefully, some row in there. Okay. I'm just moving them all around and hopefully I'll find uh, a new spot to put this big pot. See you at the next one. Okay, so we're coming up on the second pot and it's one of the small pots. And one of the benefits with the small pots at this uh, stage, sort of this late in the season, is that uh, Compared to the other pots, they have a, a round opening, right? So a smart lobster, if it works hard enough, it gets out. It can get out, or it does get out, eventually, if it just keeps on at it. But the small pots, if they get in, they're not getting out. So when the pots are set for a long period of time, uh, it's not that long this time, I, yeah, it's four nights. If the lobster gets in, no, nope. not this time though. <laughs> but that's my theory at least, that uh, you know some lobsters have figured out how to get in and out of the pots, the, the, the necks. And when they get to this pot, you know, the, the same technique doesn't work. Yeah, no. I do not need these. Off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number three. Huh. That is a lobster, but I'm afraid that is too big. I'm, a, yeah, that is way too big. <laughs> ah, touche. There is no chance. I need to find my other measurer for this one. And it really is a shame because that would be a fantastic lobster. <laughs> Look at that, that is just a beautiful specimen. That is a big one. But, but, this is probably <laughs> 30, what am I thinking, 35, I'm guessing. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, come on. No. What? It needs to be under 32. Oh, man. Let's just put you down here. 
the gloves are fairly you know uh, stiff because of the cold weather so I'm having a bit a bit hard of a time just handling stuff but this looks to be looks like it might be in I don't know it is in <laughs> what That's in, that's in. <laughs> Look at that monster. Oh man, a nice male. I'm gonna have a, a a precise measurement of this one. Yep, that's in. Thirty-one and and a half. There, there. Not quite thirty-one and a half, but very close. Thirty-one point three. That is actually, I've caught bigger lobster, but I never caught this big a lobster that I can keep. Or, or, or you know, this is my personal best keeper. I was sure it was too big. Oh man, how much does that weigh? What does that bad boy weigh? Let's see, let's see. Zero. Yeah, that's about close to a kilo, 900, 900 gram, but the, the boat is rocking a bit, so 900 to a kilo. Oh man. Look at that butte. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Man, that made it worth it today. Where has this guy hidden? Because as I'm saying every time I catch a lobster nowadays, it's like there have been pots everywhere here. But, uh, Nice. Okay. Off to the next one, I guess. It can only go upwards from here. See you at the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number four. That's a lobster. But, is it big enough? I doubt it. Keeping that. It might just be. Maybe. Maybe it's legal. Huh? 
Huh. Uh, it's a male, so uh, I have my doubts, to be honest. But let's see. That's uh, a small one. That's in, that's spot on there. That's spot on, that is. You can see. <laughs> 25 po 25 point two. Wow. I wasn't expecting two keepers today. That is uh, a very nice turn of events. Oh man. You know, sometimes, you know. You just get really lucky, <laughs> I guess. And there's a big difference. I'll show you at the end of the video, I'll show you the difference between this 25.2 centimeters and a 31.2 centimeter lobster. But for now, I'm gonna put this away and, and hold the rest of the pots. I still have six more to go. <laughs> You never know where it might end. So, okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on part number five. Uh, right here. Let's see. Oh, that is a proper crab pot. and uh cool fish in there okay there's nothing worth seeing here yeah small cool fish okay off to the next one okay Coming up on pot number six. What? Something strange in here, I think. Huh. <laughs> a bit of everything in here. A big, nice lobster and a big wrasse. Look at that lobster, that's a male. Man, this brass, it was letting out a lot of air as it came up. So as, I, as the pot came towards the surface, it was just a lot of air coming up. So I was thinking, what is this? But crab, crab. That is almost, I think, as big as the, as the first one. I'm guessing at least 28. Look at that crushing claw right there. It's solid. And yeah, it's a male, so. Let's have a measure.
yeah, 28 and a half. Yep. That is a very nice keeper. And big. That crushing claw. Oh, that'll be so nice. Three keepers. And today is, is it the Tuesday, the 18th or something? 18th, 19th, something like that of November. And it's not, it's not common, I think, not for me at least, to be getting this uh, amount of uh, keepers. But then again, you know, I had those holes where I caught, was it five lobsters and I couldn't keep any of them? So I think it's about time that uh, <laughs> the tables turn like this. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> oh man, and that was pot number six, right? Could I catch one more? Could it be? You, you never know. Fingers crossed. Off to the next one. Okay, pot number seven. That is a wrasse and uh, some crabs. Okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number seven. Yeah? Eight? Pot number eight. It's one of the small pots. Now let's see if they caught if it caught me anything. Nope. Just some crab. Nothing to see here. And they are all soft as well. Off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number nine. Oh, one of the heavy ones. Oh. Nope. That is a... Uh... Poor, poor catch for little crab. Okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on the last pot. Oh, and it might be that it's just pot number 10 and I'm getting tired, but oh, this feels extra heavy. This just might be a proper crab pot. Let's see. Ah. I guess I'm just getting tired. <laughs> but it's a crab pot, all right. But that doesn't really matter. I am so happy with today's catch. Oh, I'm gonna save a couple of these. Oh, no. No, actually, no. Actually, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna reset these pots and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna show you the difference in the 
size of those lobsters because they are one year apart one on 25 centimeters one on 28 and one on 31 and uh, and then some so that's three different uh, uh, three years apart I'm guessing those those uh, three lobsters are one year one year each okay so uh, see you in a bit okay well I'm here to show you the lobsters I just caught and there is a significant difference in sizes here and all three of them are uh, all three of them are males I have a few other uh, uh, lobsters here, but uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's no point. Let's see. And I need to, you know, they need to have food. That's that's number one, right? But also. I have to check that none of the females have uh, have uh, uh, put their row out. You know that happens sometimes. You can have a stored um, a female lobster, and uh, one day she it's just due time for her to uh, set her eggs and move them from the inside of her body to underneath the tail so and if she does while she's in the storing pot I'll have to let her go that's how it is but okay thanks for watching everyone my name is Rune this is Foss Fishing take care and I'll see you next time